My friends, the field of mouse deer farming is rapidly expanding in Vietnam, offering a promising and profitable opportunity for rural communities. Imagine millions of these adorable little critters grazing peacefully on green pastures, contributing to a booming agricultural sector. In recent years, mouse deer farming in Vietnam has emerged as a standout success story within the agricultural economy. This innovative sector has garnered widespread attention from farmers across the nation. Transforming mouse deer into a reliable and sustainable source of income. By implementing professional breeding techniques and optimizing consumption processes, these farmers are reaping significant economic rewards, paving the way for a brighter future in Vietnam's rural areas. The journey of mouse deer farming begins with a critical decision, selecting the right breed. Smart farmers know that not all deer are created equal. They carefully choose their stock from reputable farms, paying close attention to the health and physical appearance of the animals. This meticulous selection process ensures that from the moment these deer set hoof in their new environment, they are primed to become invaluable assets for their caretakers. Healthy, well-chosen deer lead to more productive farming making this step foundational to the entire process. Making a good home for these animals is just as important as choosing the right ones. Farmers need to build large, airy pens to keep the mouse deer comfortable, safe, and healthy. These pens should be placed in areas that don't flood, so the deer stay out of danger. Inside the pen, farmers organize the space carefully with separate areas for male deer, baby deer, and any sick or injured deer. This smart design helps keep the herd healthy and makes it easier to take care of them, leading to smoother farming operations. A balanced and nutritious diet is essential for the successful farming of mouse deer. Farmers must provide a diverse and carefully planned menu that includes a variety of greens, leaves, hay, and essential supplements. By following a scientifically sound feeding plan, farmers ensure that the herd remains healthy, strong, and capable of producing high-quality products. Hygiene is equally important, as maintaining a clean environment is crucial for the deer's well-being. A well-fed and well-cared-for herd is the backbone of a profitable farming operation, making nutrition a top priority for every farmer. When it comes to having babies, mouse deer have a special way of doing things. They can have babies all year long, but most babies are born during the warmer months. They usually have between one and 11 babies at a time, but most often they have four to six. Each new baby is really special. The mom deer takes very good care of her babies. This helps the babies grow up healthy and strong, if farmers take good care of their mouse deer, they can have more and more of them in a good way. One of the most exciting aspects of mouse deer farming is the opportunity to create unique and flavorful dishes. A standout a recipe is stir-fried mouse deer with lemongrass and chili. This dish is more than Drop just a, a one meat. If you're into devouring it's a cultural some mouse treasure deer meat grilled to of the perfection. Central Highlands. Combining the rich, natural flavor of wild mouse deer meat with the aromatic scents of lemongrass and spicy chili. It's a dish that tantalizes the taste buds so mouse and leaves deer a lasting impression on anyone who tries. But also Preparing this dish requires a high level of precision and care. First, and chili. the mouse deer meat is carefully sliced into small bite-sized pieces, making sure each piece is tender and flavorful. The lemongrass is then crushed and finely chopped, releasing its aromatic oils, while the chili is minced to add a spicy precision and care. The marination process is carefully handled, with spices adjusted to your liking. When it's time to stir-fry, cooking oil is added to the pan, followed by the minced lemongrass, which adds a nice aroma. As the meat cooks evenly, spring onions and cilantro are added to enhance the flavor and add a touch of freshness and color. The result is a perfectly balanced, delicious meal that captures the essence of Vietnamese cuisine. 
Another must-try dish for food lovers is grilled mouse deer. This preparation method lets the natural flavor of the meat shine through, making for a delicious and satisfying experience. If All you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend giving it a shot. The meat is grilled to perfection, resulting a in a dish that's tender on the inside with a slightly crispy exterior. Drop a one in the comments if you're interested in trying this flavorful, wild-caught delicacy. The behavior and habits of mouse deer are fascinating and diverse. These animals are often solitary, preferring to live alone rather than in large groups. They are primarily nocturnal, meaning they are most active at night when they forage for food. Their diet consists of a variety of leaves, fruits, tender shoots, and mushrooms, which they skillfully select from their surroundings. Despite their small size, mouse deer are incredibly agile. They can climb, leap high, and run swiftly, making them well adapted to their natural environment. However, their timidity is also a notable characteristic. They are quick to hide when they sense danger, using their agility to evade predators. Mouse deer farming isn't just about making money. It's also about living in harmony with nature. By using natural resources wisely, farmers can help create a way of farming that's good for the environment and the economy. To keep this balance, farmers need to use scientific methods and manage their farms well. With help from On the both basis farmers of an and agreement the between the buyer mouse deer farming and farm producers, grow and help contract farming is basically a pre-harvest agreement. While mouse deer are found across tropical and subtropical forests in Asia and Africa, some species are facing serious threats. Habitat loss, driven by deforestation and human encroachment, is one of the biggest challenges these animals face. Additionally, hunting and wildlife trafficking pose significant risks to their populations. As a result, certain species of mouse deer are now at risk of extinction. Conservation efforts are crucial to protect these unique animals and ensure their survival for future generations. It's up to us to take action and support initiatives that aim to preserve their natural habitats and prevent further decline in their numbers. You wouldn't believe what it takes to get that crisp, juicy apple onto your plate. But by the end of this video, you might just appreciate that sweet bite a little more. The United States, home to more than just apple pie, is one of the largest apple producers in the world. Each year, millions of apples are cultivated and harvested, but it's not as simple as plucking them off the tree. The process? Well, it's a bit like raising a child. It requires planning, lots of care, and a bit of luck. Now, if you think apples just grow anywhere, hold that thought. The USA's diverse climates allow a variety of apple types to thrive, each adding to the rich agricultural tapestry of the country. Keep watching, because the way these apples make their journey from seed to your hand is nothing short of fascinating. Where apples grow. While apples are grown in several states, Washington State takes the crown. But don't worry. New York, Michigan, and Pennsylvania have a few tricks up their sleeves, too. These states provide the perfect climate and soil, making them the best in the apple business. Here's a fun fact you might want to tuck away. Washington State isn't just known for its rainy days and great coffee. It's the apple capital of the United States, producing over half of the country's apples. The unique climate and fertile soil here are like a five-star resort for apple trees. And the apples? Well, they're living the good life. Major apple growing states. In Washington state, it's apples as far as the eye can see. With regions like Wenatchee, Lake Chelan, and Yakima Valley, they're famous for different varieties of apple like Red Delicious, Granny Smith, and Fuji. Think of it as a treasure chest where every apple is a gem. And then there's New York, known for more than just its big city. Its rich apple orchards, particularly in the Hudson Valley and Finger Lakes, offer a postcard perfect view, and some pretty tasty apples too. Michigan? They've got their own apple game going thanks to the Great Lakes, which act like natural air conditioners for the orchards. And let's not forget Pennsylvania, where the southeastern part of the state is dotted with apple orchards that make for a picturesque drive and even better pie. Washington State, the apple capital. So, what makes Washington so special? It's the apple capital for a reason. 
producing more than half of the country's apples, Washington is the MVP of the apple world. With its unique climate and fertile soil, particularly in regions like Wenatchee, Lake Chelane, and Yakima Valley, Washington State is the apple's best friend. They're known for producing varieties like Red Delicious, Granny Smith, Golden Delicious, and Fuji. Ever notice how biting into a Granny Smith feels like a jolt of energy? Apple farm size. With over 5,000 apple producers across the country, it's safe to say that apples aren't just a snack. The typical farm spans at least 100 acres, making apple cultivation a large-scale operation. Washington State alone boasts 1,160 apple farms, each strategically located in regions with optimal growing conditions. But did you know that behind every apple you eat, there's a whole community of people making sure it's the best one yet? The apple tree life cycle. Let's take a journey. No passport needed. Just a trip through the life of an apple tree. The life cycle starts with a tiny seedling and goes through various stages before it matures and bears fruit. Just like raising kids and ensuring a bountiful harvest. From seedling to sapling, apple trees begin their life in seedling farms where they're pampered for about two months before being transplanted to larger farms. Care and pruning. Once the apple trees are in the ground, this includes pruning, which is like giving the tree a haircut. It's about making sure sunlight reaches all parts of the tree, promoting healthy growth. Remember, as you sow, so shall you reap, and pruning ensures you reap plenty. Ever wondered how to make an apple tree look its best? Pollination and blooming. Pollination is a make-or-break phase in apple production. Farmers often bring in honeybees to do the job, around 14,000 bees per acre. It's like throwing a huge party, but instead of music, it's all about getting the apple flowers to mingle. The result? A successful fruit set that keeps the apples coming. Apple harvesting. When it's time to harvest, the apples are at their peak ripeness, just the right moment for that perfect bite. The process is as labor-intensive as it sounds, with thousands of workers picking apples by hand, though some farms use modern technology to lighten the load. The harvest season. In Washington, the apple harvest season kicks off in mid-August and can stretch into early November. Timing depends on the apple variety and local climate conditions. It's a bit like the difference between picking out an outfit for a sunny day versus a rainy one. You need to know what you're dealing with. Apple pickers. The human factor. Apple harvesting is no walk in the park. It relies heavily on migrant workers. These workers are the backbone of the apple industry, often working under challenging conditions to ensure a successful harvest. It's hard work, but as they say, no pain, no gain. Apple production numbers. When it comes to apple production, the United States is a heavyweight. In 2023, Washington State alone harvested 134 million boxes, with New York and Pennsylvania also making significant contributions. Nationwide, we're talking about 240 million bushels of apples. Imagine trying to count that. Now, if you think that's a lot, wait until you hear how we stack up against the rest of the world. United States versus Global Apple Production. On the global stage, the United States ranks third in apple production, behind China and the European Union. While the U.S. produces around 9.9 .9 billion pounds of apples annually, China is in a league of its own, with approximately 97 billion pounds. It's a reminder that sometimes there's always a bigger apple. After the harvesting, once the apples are harvested, their journey is far from over. They're either sent directly to markets or processed in various ways. This post-harvest period involves several critical steps, including sorting, packaging, and sometimes processing into apple juice or other products. Packaging and export. A significant portion of U.S. apples heads overseas, but before they go, they undergo a rigorous process of washing, disinfection, and packaging to ensure they meet international standards and arrive fresh. Apple juice production. Apple juice is one of the most popular products made from harvested apples. The process involves juicing and pasteurizing the juice for safe consumption. It's enjoyed globally and is a key product of the apple industry. So, 
Next time you sip on apple juice, you're tasting a bit of American craftsmanship. Conclusion. Apple cultivation and harvesting in the United States isn't just about picking fruit. It's a massive undertaking involving careful planning, extensive labor, and precise execution. From Washington's vast orchards to the processing plants, every step in the journey of an apple is crucial in delivering this beloved fruit to consumers both domestically. If you enjoyed this journey from seed to sip, be sure to check out my previous video, where I dive even deeper into the fascinating world of American agriculture. You can find it right here on the end screen. See you there.